Thank you for joining us for our 20 minute speed roller. Uh, we're gonna showcase the brand new functionality that we've literally just released called our designer and marketplace, which gives you guys content creation directly within the platform. We've been working on this for probably a year, year and a half in terms of getting it kind of tweaked and right. And through all the stuff that was happening in the back end, we're finally, finally releasing it. So we're very excited to get your feedback on it. It is in beta, which means that we're just still kind of testing it because there's a lot of different screens out there and the way that um, the application handles uh, these kinds of templates is, is often quite um, a little bit different. So we just want to make sure it is working before we officially, officially launch it. But if you do have any questions at any point, please type them into the chat and I will get to them towards the end. I'll run through this now and that way we can get on with it. I'll showcase everything that we've got within our brand new designer. So hopefully everybody can see the screen. Darren, we good? So you're nodding, cool. All right, so on the left over here, we've got this brand new section and it's called the design section. It sits above the manage because the, the logical pathway that we've kind of come up with is you can design some content, you can then put it into the manage section with your images and your videos, and then you deploy it onto your screen. So it really follows that linear pathway starting at the top and working its way back down to the bottom. When you first come in, you'll probably be greeted by a pop-up with a tutorial and everything around that. But this is the landing page that basically invites you to come in and create your very first design. So clicking on this brings up this brand new modal here, which allows you to choose from either some default templates, which are just some layouts that we've kind of come up with to give you guys a bit of a head start getting into here to create some stuff, or you can choose from your templates once you've created them or purchased them from the marketplace, which I'll show you in a second. And you have some options up here to choose between portrait, if you've got your screen in portrait orientation or landscape, or even just custom resolution. The other type we've got over here, which we probably won't go into today is our overlays, which essentially allow you to create a widget that sits on top of a playlist. And this could be a little clock widget that sits in the top right hand corner, which is really, really convenient if you've got, I guess, some consistent information that you want to display on your screen. So firstly, I'll note that if you do have basic licenses on your account, you unfortunately won't have access to this designer. It's just something that we put into that advanced one. We spent probably a year and a half, two years building this thing. So we wanted to be able to monetize it in that way. We've made it free to anybody who has an advanced or a pro license. So if you do have a basic license and it's warning you at the bottom, just get in touch with your reseller and you can look at maybe upgrading that license if you feel like you wanna capitalize on this. At the top over here, we've got two buttons. So the My Templates is essentially everywhere that you've created your designs. It's all of the layouts and the, the templates that you guys have created. And as we start, you'll go through this process, you'll see how this populates. But if you don't have content creation skills or you don't feel like you feel comfortable going in and diving in yourself, we do have this marketplace. Now, there is a small cost associated with these templates. These have all been professionally designed by our team who have 20, 25 years worth of design experience, specifically in digital signage. And there's over about 200 templates ranging from kind of static ones through to video templates and so on. So if you do kind of want to get a start, obviously, you know, pay $49 and then you have this design on your account forever and you can utilize this in any way that you want. It's essentially yours and you can make as many copies of this moving forward as you need to. So please do have a bit of a play around in here because we have actually given everybody who has an existing Fusion signage account one free template. So when you go through and I'll just get one at the moment, my screen. Um, when you come through and you add the first one to cart, um, view your cart, you'll notice that the cost is actually $0. So feel free to dive in, buy one template, maybe go for the expensive one, that's always good, but at least it gives you start, get a good way to get started in there. If you hit get template, it'll obviously go through payment facilitation on any of the ones after this one, but right now we can just go through and go through to the my template section. So purchasing your first template, obviously grata on us. Thank you for being part of Fusion Signage, but once it's in here, it now becomes part of your my template section. So when you go create design from scratch, if you go over to the My Templates, you'll see that this one already exists. And now I can use this as a starting point moving forward if I want to. So I'll do that from here, or I can just literally click here and press create design. So once this loads, I'm hoping that there's no issues with my internet right now. There we go. So once this loads, you've come in and you can see all the elements that are editable in here. So we've got these little flares in here that we can move around. You can change the color to something that's maybe a little bit more on brand for you if you wanna go for a little bluey color. And that can be done for any of these shapes that we've kind of put in here. So they're all SVGs, which means they're infinitely scalable and they're completely usable. But these shapes in here then become part of your design, which you can choose to remove if you want to, or you can copy them and add more and move them around if you wanna get a little bit funky with it. Any of these assets can obviously be resized, uh, moved around, 
do whatever you want to them. But obviously we put some time into making sure that the positioning and the placement is pretty much on, on par with good design skills. So, you know, if it starts to look a bit funky, you can always go back to your original design. But making changes in here, very, very simple. So if I go um, down to something and say pancake month or something like that, you can do that as well. So all of the text fields, obviously editable. We've got a pretty funky font in here. If you want to change the font, you can do that up here and you can even upload your own if you do have something that's maybe on brand. It does need to be a WAF format. So you can use our little cloud converter here to um, change your font into something that's a little bit more readable for the screens. So let's say you wanted to turn this into a pancake one as opposed to an ice cream one. Basically type that in and let's just say uh, every Thursday and Friday. So now we can start to rotate this and say, okay, I don't want to, don't love it on the angle. If I hold down shift, I can lock it into any of those rotations as well. So it gives you a little bit more clarity and you'll notice that it is clipping to all the other items on here as well. So you can actually line things up pretty well. If you want to, you can actually control click and then you can choose your uh, positioning as well. And you can align it basically all of the standard stuff that you would expect out of a designer in here. So you can do all your alignments, change the actual pixel dimensions and size and so on and so forth. Let's change the background color of this shape to something maybe a little bit more blue. No, I don't love that. Let's go into something a little bit darker. So now we're starting to get a little bit more um, on brand for something that um, maybe matches our style. This over here is an image. So obviously if you have your own imagery as part of your own brand, you can always upload that content and put it into the platform. One of the really um, appealing factors that we've got in here is we've actually tied this into Unsplash, which has over a million free to use stock images. So maybe if you don't have great photography or you don't have product images, you can click on Unsplash and then you can search pretty much by anything up here. So if I go pancake, I'm hoping my internet is not dropping out right now. Can you guys hear me? There we go, okay. Let's try that again. It never works in the demo, right? The demo gods. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I think I am like it. Sorry. Just gonna give that a second. Can you hear me, Darren? You good? Yes, yeah, we're good. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. There we go, pancakes, perfect. So there's over a million free to use stock images in here. Hopefully you can find something that matches your brand and what you're looking for, but then I can just immediately import that into my template and away I go. So have a, have a look through all that Unsplash, um, see what's in there, maybe you get something of good value in there. On the left over here as well, you can start to add a lot more content to this. So this was a base template, which came with a whole bunch of pre-built stuff in terms of shapes and colors and fonts and images. But if you want to, you can add your own text fields in over here and just adding a generic text field in, we can follow all those same principles, change the font type, um, color, so on and so forth. So you can do a lot with that. You can add in more images. You can even add in different lines. So if you want to change your lines, you can change between dollar solid dashed, so on and so forth. So you could add a nice little banner at the top over here change all the colors and so on. So a lot of creativity, creativity can come into this if you've got the skills to do it. If you have your own videos as well, you can upload your own videos into this and play that in behind it. Keep in mind though, most devices only really support one video playing back simultaneously. So only try to keep that to a single video or a video background, that's probably the best way to do it. But have a play with your specific hardware because it may be something that it does handle a little bit more. So always test it um, if you can. Shapes as well, we've given you a whole bunch of default shapes in here. So you've got your hexagons, your squares, your circles, and so on, as well as some crosses and, and angles. And you can put any of these in and change all the colors and the sizes as well. So get a bit creative with that. Obviously digital signage lends itself very well to dynamic content. So we do have the ability to add in a bunch of widgets, things like a clock widget. So this is where the overlays come in really, really handy, where you can put in a clock widget in the top right-hand corner. And this will pull through your device's local time. So as long as your time and date is set well on your device, this will just display based on that. Other widgets in here, you can put the date, the weather, and you can select that by suburb as well. If you've got an external system, you can play around with the HTML code widget. We've done some pretty funky things with this. We've tied it through to beer tap systems and tram systems and stuff like that. So if you have an API and maybe some coding skills, always have a play around with this because you can put in some custom HTML code in here and get some pretty interesting results. Otherwise, image slideshow is another option as well. So this just allows you to put a multiple images in instead of just a single image. So if I wanted to go back here and go, oops, back here into Unsplash and see what pancakes come up with and say, so I actually wanna have multiple of these pancakes on here. Um, oh great, the guys are doing an update right now, fantastic. I will cover that and then say, put that over here, send back 
make it a little bit bigger. And then at the top with this image slideshow, we can actually choose some of our little slight animations. Now, animations will be coming probably a later in the year where we'll have things being able to slide on and off. But right now we just wanted to get this out in its base form. We didn't want to overcomplicate everything, put in animations and transitions. We really just want to test this to make sure most of the customers are suitable with it. But yeah, you can do some things like, you know, sliding in, bouncing in and so on. So you get a bit, a bit creative with this. So I know a lot of customers have been asking for transitions and this is kind of how we've done it. So play around with that as well. Otherwise, I'll keep moving. We've got websites, YouTube Live and Facebook Live if you do want to do some streaming, text tickers, QR codes if you have things like check-ins or you want to display some extra information. We've got a QR code generator up here. Just put in the URL and that'll link it directly through to that, as well as text slideshows and RSS feeds. So have a bit of a play around with all these features because you can start to get some pretty good information on there. So moving on down here, we've got our layers as well. So in here, you can go through and select any of these components and you can lock them, delete them, send to forward, send to back. So it just gives you a little bit of a um, easier way to start editing in your stuff because it can get quite messy in there if you need to. Other than that, you can change the background to a video background. I won't go through that right now, but if you do have a video that you want to put in the background, you can always do that and, and um, save it. And that way you can put maybe menu items sitting on top of that video. When you're ready, you can save it. Now, this is the way you come in and give your design a name. So think of this like you were creating an image yourself. You want to go and save it as a JPEG or a PNG, and then you would upload it into Fusion. This just saves you that trouble because you're actually saving the core design and then you can make those changes whenever you want. So I'll okay, call this one Pancake Month. Now down here, you've got the option to actually create a template. So if I'm happy with this design, I can save this as a baseline template now, which is now the starting point for any other content that I wanna create from here. So I can save that as a template and I'll show you how that saves back into the design section. And then you can choose a folder in your manage section. So this just puts it into the folder so you know where that exists. I'll hit save from there. Gonna take a sec. It's downloading all those images and my internet is doing something really funky right now. So that's saved and now it's ready to go. So if I go into the manage section, into my template section, you'll see that it's downloaded all those images from Unsplash and they're saved in here, giving me my pancake month. If I ever wanna edit this again, I can click on the edit button. That'll open up that design and now I can make changes in real time. But if I wanna get this on my screen pretty much straight away, um, I can go into the manage section can find my playlist in here called demo playlist or I can just create a brand new playlist come in add my media and you'll notice pancake month is sitting right here click on that file and then it's added into my playlist save and publish I've got a screen here that it's already assigned to and now that's on screen live ready to go if you ever need to edit this again you can either go into the manage section you do have your edit button right here within the playlist as well one thing that you'll note as you're editing this it now says publish up in the top hand corner this means any changes I make to this, and as soon as I hit publish, it'll say, hey, you're actually gonna update your screen immediately. So you don't really have to go through the manage section. We don't need to go through your playlist. You can just literally edit the, 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 the design from here and save and publish. And that content has been updated immediately on the screen within about 40 seconds, as long as those devices are online. So it just makes it really, really quick to get your content out and content changes. So if you wanted to put um, a price on here, for example, um, like, $11 every Monday, for example, and then you wanted to make a change, turn it into a 12, press publish, and that price is now live on the screen. So just quickly back in the design section, remember how I ticked that save it as a template? In here, you've got the ability now to use this template again and again and again. So you can create as many templates as you want completely free. You don't have to use our marketplace if you don't want to. It's just something that kind of gives you that leg up if you maybe just want to come in and say, hey, you know, I'm never going to go and create some of this um, and I just want a bit of a helping hand. Some of the ones in here as well do have some basic animations in it. So on the right, or on the left over here, we've got some different pricing brackets and really that just comes down to how much time it takes us to do those designs. So something like a menu board does take us a little bit longer to do, whereas, you know, some of these more simple designs are pretty straightforward, but a lot of it does have its own, you know, uh, different fonts in there and different um, animations. So this one here, for example, when you come in, you can always preview it. And what you'll see is the background animation and what's actually happening on the screen. So any of these ones that are over the $100 point, it probably has some kind of animation sitting in there as well, just to make it a little bit clearer. So you can preview it and say, okay, I've got three text fields on here. You could put your own shape behind it. You could do anything from here, but really you've just got this nice little animation that you can reuse as many times as you want. I have approximately four minutes left. I've gone over pretty much the high level of it, but if anybody has any questions or anything you want me to show you in a little bit more detail, please put them into the chat now and I'm happy, happy to go through it. But um, we all would just recommend you guys jumping in 
having a play around with it. Like I said, if you've got advanced and higher, it's completely free. It's live on your account right now. Have a bit of a play around with it. Oh, one thing I will show you guys actually, that I literally just remembered. So under my template in here, on this drop down, oh, maybe we, oh, it's right here, download image. So if you do have other social platforms that maybe you want to use this to create for, you're not necessarily just doing it for Fusion Signage, you maybe have a social that you want to put it on. Once you've got this in here, you could download this in, as an image. Keep in mind any dynamic widgets or these slideshows and stuff like that, it's not going to come through. So you could use this as a Canva style um, exporter if you wanted to. Uh, no questions yet. I might quickly just show you as well a um, overlay if you guys have time. So in here, I'm going to go brand new, click on overlay, and go new blank design. And what you'll notice here is this is now transparent. So transparency just means that's where the content in the playlist is going to show. Um, and from here, I could put a little shape on. A classic one is a little square in the top right hand corner. Actually, I might go a little bit funky this time. Uh, rotate this one around a little bit. Make it a bit bigger. There we go. So now let's just put a little widget in, clock widget change the color. So now this little thing becomes a widget that would sit on top of the playlist. So anywhere there's this transparency in here, this is where your content, your images, your videos, your designs will show. But this little banner is always gonna sit there on top of it. So when I save this now, I'll call this top right widget, select folder and away I go. So when I come back over here into the playlist that I created before, if I add a couple of extra items, just those pancake images, why not? You'll now have this little option over here for overlay. So the overlay here I can select called top right widget. When I set that, I hit the preview button. Now in the top right, I've got that little widget that sits there. As I cycle through, you'll notice that always sits there. So you could put a promo that you're constantly having, maybe an RSS feed or something like that in there. So really full creativity on how that comes together. And we may be doing some little widgets as well, just as some default options or putting them into the marketplace. So. We will be constantly adding to this marketplace as well. So keep an eye on it. If you do uh, want to see the latest stuff, maybe seasonal trends or bits and pieces, but any feedback you guys give us as well will also help, you know, kind of create that. And if you do want us to look into doing some custom templates for you as well, we have the design team to help with that. So if at any point you need custom content, happy to have that conversation to get your screens looking as good as possible. Well, I've got one minute left bloody nailed it so nobody has any questions um again bloody nailed it i don't have to worry about it this has been the perfect little speed roller session uh we will send you this video but if you do want us to run through this maybe in a one-on-one -on -one, reach out to us um in the dashboard over here we have our guided demo button so feel free to book it goes through to the beautiful darren farrell who will be um, doing demos day in and day out so happy to do a one-on-one -on -one, run through any questions that you've got but that is it for me uh we'll we're going to add a video from YouTube. Okay. Yep. No worries. Um, uh, on that point as well, videos from YouTube. Uh, I know that I mentioned in the design section that you do have that YouTube live option in here. Now, this is probably better suited for a live stream because YouTube itself, when it hits the end, this is just a widget. So it will just pop up saying, hey, here's all the recommended. So it's not going to loop in here because it is just a stream from YouTube. So um, if you do have access to the video, we always recommend download the video as an MP4, upload it into your account in the manage section as you normally would, and then put it into your rotation um, of content as you normally would, because you're going to save on bandwidth. It doesn't require your media player on site to be constantly downloading this and streaming it. So you'll probably have a better experience, but happy to run through in a little bit more detail, Bronwyn, uh, later if that's not what you're specifically looking for. That's good for, um, I've found in some of the demos, James, is ABC Live, um, places like that where there's 24-hour um, news streams and, and mm -hmm. things like that. So long as you've got decent internet connection, then you won't have an issue with, um, with dropout. Yeah, absolutely. Any other questions or anything anybody wants me to go through? Thanks for, so much for being part of Fusion Science. We absolutely love hearing from all our customers. Um, any feedback, any thoughts that you have, anything you want the product to do, please do share it with us. We're a small team of developers based in Brisbane, but we love um, making the product better for everybody. So please bombard us with your thoughts and ideas, and hopefully we can get something uh, up and running for you pretty quickly. So thanks for taking the time. We know how busy everybody is. Um, please have a great day and let us know any other questions you got.